Good morning everyone, welcome to the most chaotic house in the universe. We've currently got someone changing out a window. We've also got a leak in the living room, which has managed to fill up a bucket overnight. We're having someone come over today to fix that, or try. We're also scheduled for a house viewing for this house later today. So that's too many people. So I'm gonna go out. Me and my mum planned on doing some Christmas shopping anyway. And when I found out the house viewing would be today, I changed it to today and you know what it's perfect because the amount of people who will be in and out of this house has grown exponentially <laughs> since i decided to go out so i've kind of done the right thing but it's insane there's so much going on so here is my outfit let's not talk about the mess a little bit of winter layering a bit of winter red tights i just do my makeup and then do a bit of a tidy, which my mum's gonna help me with when she gets here before the viewers come, if they're coming today, which they might have been cancelled on because of all of the construction, <laughs> but we haven't been told, so being a renter in a student house. So makeup, and then I'm gonna go on a fun day out to Cabot Circus, do some Christmas shopping or some self shopping, depends what happens. We are in the car. I feel like I do a lot of vlogging in the car recently. It's just a good place to vlog. There's no people here. Well, there's limited people here. So we're going to Cabot's, which I already said, and we're gonna buy some stuff. What do you need to buy? I'm gonna try and highlight the accessibility stuff in Cabot's so you maybe have an idea if you're going there. It's a really good place. I haven't been there in a while, but for wheelchairs or rollators or issues with accessibility or difficulty walking I think it's probably one of the better places. The problem with bath and stuff is because it's so old everything's higgledy piggledy all the shops have steps into them because they were all built way before anyone really cared so it's quite hard to get around a lot of the places whereas because Cabot Circus was built I think in the last like 20 years it's very smooth there's lifts it's really been thought out and built purposefully so we'll do some shopping and do some trying out of all the lifts i reckon it's raining quite a lot but cabot is covered which is really good it's kind of one of those like indoor outdoor places it's not really an inside shopping mall mall center but it does have a roof so the rain shouldn't be too much of a problem actually so we're just driving there now and I will see you when we get there. So we arrived at Cabot Circus shopping centre and there were plenty of disabled parking spots. This whole section on floor three, loads of spaces. So we parked in one of the nice green and yellow spaces and I put my blue badge out to show that I am allowed to park in these spaces. My mum got my wheelchair out of the car boot for me um, because I'm not able to do it on my own. To get to the shopping centre you park on level 3 and you go across this bridge which connects you from the car park straight to the shopping centre so it's all smooth and accessible. This is an overview of the shopping centre and you can see they have lots of escalators if you have mobility needs that aren't wheelchairs and here we are at the lifts. My main complaint about the lifts is there's no mirrors in the lifts. I like a mirror in a lift. I think that they open up the space, they make it feel less claustrophobic, but that's just a personal preference. So the first thing we did was head to the toilet. The disabled toilets in Cabot Circus do require a radar key, but I have experienced them be open and so therefore you'd not need one. I need to buy one, it's like on my list of to-dos that I never seem to get round to. And they have this really pretty tree decoration that you can go through, so I got a little shot of that. And then we got back in the lift. Spending all the time in the world in the lift. 
There's a lot of going up and down and left because the shopping centre is over three floors. And then we went for lunch. We went to Yo Sushi because I really like sushi and the little conveyor belt is so fun. So then we decided to actually get some shopping done, went to various shops, including a bookshop, always got to go to a bookshop. And then we found a lift with a mirror, which I love, a dress that I really wanted to buy, but we weren't shopping for ourselves and some homeware to look at. And then of course it started to rain and we were outside of the roofed area. And then I saw this advert of a model using a wheelchair, which was kind of cool because you never really see that. Just thought I'd point it out. Here you can see me piled up with stuff. I do end up quite often as a trolley when we bring the wheelchair places. And that's it, that's our day. You can see us going back through the bridge. This bridge makes Cabot Circus so accessible. It makes a perfectly smooth route from the shops to the parking. You don't have to go on the street, you don't have to fight with curbs or anything. It's such a convenient way to get from a car park to a shopping centre and I would love to see more places do things like this because they really do make a difference. fights the wheelchair back into the car. And then we are on our way home. And at home, we find out the leaking has gotten worse. <laughs> I'm vlogging today, so this is oh my God. perfect. Hey, you can put this on the internet. Look at that terrible house. <laughs> Look at that terrible house. It's like night time. It's like night time now and the house is leaking. <laughs> there's so many, there's, the drips are multiplying. So that's fun. But I think I'm pretty much done Christmas shopping now. So I'm a bit early with it, which is good because I do tend to get stressed. Last year was a really hard year because of my dissertation and how much I was struggling with it. And I don't think I bought a single present last year because I was just so overwhelmed by just what was going on. And then to do gifts on top of that, I just couldn't do it. I did not have the mental capacity. So I'm like kind of excited this year to be kind of making up for that. I'm gonna do some... Oh, actually, you know what I am gonna do? I've got this this advent calendar that's jigsaws. So it's like a full size jigsaw, but it's been broken up into these little sections. So I'm gonna do that now. I've done the first three days, but here is number four, the little box. So it has all these little pieces. So now I'm just gonna read some of my book and get ready for bed. That's that's it, that's the rest. A very successful day, I think. I feel like I've done a lot. I mean, I have, and I don't have anything to do tomorrow. So tomorrow will just be like an in-bed day, probably. Yeah. Started with such gusto. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
You may be wondering, if I just went upstairs, why did I brush my teeth downstairs? Because usually I brush my teeth downstairs so that I don't have to do the stairs. Well, we're having a bit of a damp problem, which means we're having a bit of a mold problem. A couple of hours ago, one of the people who live in my house very kindly bleached the walls in the bathroom. But bleach is very strong. <laughs> And my lungs are very sensitive. So honestly, even just being up there like briefly to use the loo and to bring my toothbrush down, I'm like really feeling it in my lungs. They're very dramatic. Um, so it's inhaler time. And I think technically you're not supposed to do it after you've brushed your teeth because it's bad for your teeth. This, whatever this is. But sometimes you just got to do it. And I'm not brushing my teeth again. So we're just living with the situation. I don't know if it's an allergic reaction to like whatever chemicals in the air from the bleach or if it's just like bleach is bad for you. So everyone reacts to this and I'm just, everyone reacts to it. I'm just more sensitive. So I'm reacting at a lower level. I don't know. But I feel pretty shit. <sighs> Ugh, feels it feels like allergic reaction not like anaphylaxis or anything dangerous my lungs feel um bothered and, and um wheezy but i don't i'm not you know there's no air pipe closing up and tongue swelling and nothing like that is happening it's just um a sensitive lung thing i don't know does that even make sense <laughs> I'm gonna change into my pajamas now. Oh, let's see again. God damn bleach. I'm not gonna take my makeup off. I've been doing better at that recently and doing better at, you know, taking it off and then doing skincare and stuff. But I've done too much today and, and now I'm dying of bleach poisoning. <laughs> um yeah what's worse is that my bedroom is moldy and I need it and it needs to be cleaned basically. But I really don't want to feel like this, so... And obviously I spend a lot of time in my bedroom, so... <clears throat> sorry, my voice sounds a bit funny. It's all the allergic reaction response. Um, obviously I spend a lot of time in my room, so... I think it would really be difficult for me if... The, it, to be fair, it's not the whole room like it is the bathroom. It's just like the exterior... It's just like the exterior wall. Um, but it's not good. Also, though... The bleach is quite an acute short term an effect. Mold is bad for your lungs long term. Mold is bad for you, um, especially for uh, lung sensitivity. So it's like maybe I should just have someone get like I uh, say take get rid of the mold because I'm not I'm not gonna do it. I think um, one I don't think it'd be good for me to do. Two I think I physically couldn't do it. Um, it's on the ceiling. The ceilings are very high in this room. Um, it's quite an old it's an old building and the style of houses in Bath are the ground floor has high ceilings. So it's a quite a high ceiling room and uh, it's on the ceiling. It's on and actually lots of furniture needs pulling out. So like I can't do it on my own basically anyway. So maybe it's a case of I need someone to do it and then I need to go home to my parents for the weekend while the room airs out. It's probably a good idea, but it's one of those things you've got to like organize. So I'm gonna pajamas now. Why is that hand ballot clicking? So pajamas now. <coughs> so pajamas now. Pajamas in bed. Lights way darker for a cozy time. I'm just gonna lie here and try and get my lungs back to normal from the exercise trip and the bleach inhalation of the upstairs. <sighs> I don't know if I've mentioned this actually. Um, I don't, uh, uh, you know, I don't think I've mentioned that I, I've i always had sensitive lungs and airways. I, I had a chest infection. I had a chest infection when I was around, I want to say four or six, six maybe. Can't remember. My lungs were just very sensitive after that. So that's been very much like a most of my life thing. I don't really remember them being great. Um, so the lungs aren't directly ME related, um, but but they have been getting worse over the last 
two years um so most throughout most of my me it hasn't really affected my lungs how my lungs function how much they struggle which was very minimally um i was never diagnosed with asthma though i had some of those kind of like symptoms they were just so mild that it wasn't asthma now i think it might be because it's much more it's still mild asthma don't get me wrong it's still mild for like the asthma scale but i think it might just be tipping into asthma now but you know how often do you want to go to the doctor and tell them about anything um but you know i've got my inhaler prescription which i've had since i was a little kid so you know it's okay could be better could be worse um so over this last two years or so, it has been getting worse. And I think partly it's one of those things of when your body starts to struggle with some things, I feel like it just starts to struggle in lots of areas. And, you know, the more if you have chronic illnesses, you're more likely to get diagnosed with more. It's just kind of how it goes. So I'm not surprised. Another factor is, like I said, I live in a damp house. This is the worst it's ever been, but over the last two years, it has been damp. It's never been like leaky, drippy water running down the walls um, until the last couple of days, but it's been damp for a while and mold has been a big thing. I would guess that that is having an impact on my lungs and how well they function, just breathing in the moldy air all the time um though i haven't had that confirmed by a doctor but i just assume that so yeah that's kind of what's going on with my lungs it's you know when you explain something and you're like yeah i should should go to a doctor i should talk to a doctor i should see if they think i need to do anything um but i haven't because you know there's so many things to do just in the world um but yeah that's that's kind of the state of my lungs um be interesting to know if you have a chronic illness a main one if you have any kind of like almost like piggyback symptoms or anything that you think is unrelated or even that you had before that it gets that may be worsened by your illness so i think probably my body being so tired and struggling so much probably doesn't and always overstressed and overworked probably doesn't help with my lungs functioning well because they're presumably tired and stressed and overworked as well i just think that i don't think the me causes the lung issues in any way i think it probably doesn't help just because of the overworking and the stress um i want it'd be interesting to know if you have anything like that and i'm actually thinking i'm gonna go to bed now a bit out of breath from this uh little talk but i will hope Hopefully see you soon. I'm I, I promise you I'm trying to do consistent videos, but obviously my body and brain are not making it as easy as it could be or should be or whatever. I know you understand that. Um and I like try not to beat myself up for it, but I don't necessarily succeed. But anyway, so all that is to say, I will hopefully fingers crossed see you next week, if not in a couple of weeks when I'm feeling up to it and the video goes well and so many factors. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye.